What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the Cedar Ridge Chronicles. If you have not already, y'all please hit that subscribe button. It don't cost you a thing, it's just gonna help me out. Today, I've got a little bit of a teachable moment that I thought I would make teachable. So, what I'm gonna do is, I've got a form today that I've got to put this deer together. And this form is an older, an older form. It was essentially date stamped here, 1997. And you can see there is very little uh, exaggerated detail. The deer has got detail. I mean, it's got veins, it's got some musculature, but as the forms have gotten newer over a period of time, especially in the last about three years, they've started really exaggerating these features because I guess what they came to find out is even though the deer has got a little bit of detail and definition carved into it, by the time that you put the cape on there, the, the hair and everything else just really doesn't show up those details. And what I've kind of figured out over a period of time is I can take modeling clay and I can, I can build those details up where they need to be built up and also add a little bit of a nose bridge, uh, which they started adding on a lot of the newer forms too. Uh, the old ones had a little bit more of a snout to them. You can see right there, it, it, it's, it's, it's really flat right here and then kind of comes out to the nose. And honestly, I mean, there's deer that look like that. I just don't like the look of it as much as I do with the, not a huge Roman nose, but a little bit of a slope that goes down to the nose pad. I just think it looks really nice when you do it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the modeling clay. I'm gonna build this up the way that I would on these older forms and show y'all how I do that uh, to give y'all an option of something that y'all might wanna try on a form that's older or just doesn't have enough detail. Also works great with Northern deer where they've got really long fur. So let's get going. Okay, there we go. Let's get started here. What I'm gonna do is use the softer modeling clay. This right here is, is very pliable, just, just regular old air dry clay. And I'm gonna start just building up what is already there. Anywhere there's a muscle, where you see these muscles right here, just apply that clay right along top of that. and flatten those edges down to the edge of the form. Very, very simple. I said, all you're doing is exaggerating what's already there. And even though it may look a little bit over-exaggerated right now, when you go to put that, that cape on there, really is going to stand out. You're going to see the difference. Go ahead and do your veins in the nose there. Just like that. Something else I like to do is the lip. And let me show y'all something too while I've got this. Well, I've got this on here. When y'all go to do your lip, when you go to cut out your mouth, go ahead and cut it large enough to where you can tuck it comfortably. There's no reason to get it so tight that you're having to force cape in there and possibly break off part of this foam. If you use a, a cutting tool that's just big enough to make you a slot where you can tuck comfortably, you can take your modeling clay And when you're doing this step right here, stick your bead of clay in there. Like that. That's all you have to do. 
What that's going to do is that clay is going to press itself out of the way. As you go to tuck that in there, it's just going to press right out of the way, but this will hold the skin tight to itself, just like the foam would, except that once you get everything tucked, you can actually mash on this clay and smash those two sides of the mouth together where they make a nice fine seam right there. Move this back down. I like to put a little bit in the tear duct. And let me show y'all what I do to the bridge of the nose here. I like to start just in front of the tear ducts there. and just come right down the bridge of the nose and just keep adding clay until you work in a little bit of a, a ridge right there. You see, it's, see how that's starting to kind of hump up? Then you want to flatten down the sides of it into the bridge of the nose. You want to gradually flatten out as it gets out here toward the snout. But you want this ridge to create a, a little thin bridge right down through there. You can actually keep this a little bit sharp. Once you put your cape on there, you can round it off as you need to. And then when you get down here to the nose, rather than have this little snout right here, I like to fill that in and smooth that out. But that transition comes right down into the top of that nose pad right there. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then once I get this cape put on here, I'll show y'all kind of the finished product, the difference, what it looks like. I'll show y'all one more spot that I forgot about. It's the bottom of this chin. See right here how shallow that is? A lot of the newer forms, they built that up because that cape that's on there is real thick it's got a real thick layer of uh it's almost like cartilage in there that you've got to cut out and on the old forms they didn't really seem to build that up with the foam itself so what i do is is take some clay and build that bottom of that chin back up to where it's almost uh in kind of a kind of a big square block shape to where it comes about halfway you can see where the chin comes up back toward the back of the mouth just continue your modeling clay and blend it right into that line. Just like that right there. Like I said, looking at it right here, it probably doesn't look like much. But once I put this thing together, I think y'all will see what I'm talking about. All right, guys, about got him roughed in. Let's take a look at him. Y'all can see how exaggerated that is now with the veins going down through here, the muscles in the side of the face, around the eyes, the tear duct. And you see the bridge of the nose. It's got a little bit of a hump in it right there, and it just comes right down into the nose pad. I just really like the way that that looks. It's a little hard to see on this camera because it's, 
you know, I got it in kind of fish eye view right now, but y'all get the idea. You can also see on the, on the front jaw how square this is, how it squares up with the side of the nose and just makes it look like a more mature buck. This buck right here probably isn't, but three years old. He might be a four year old, uh, but on those smaller forms like that, it really gives them that, that look of that mature buck face. And the face is just, I mean, it's 99% of the whole mount. The neck on this deer isn't, but I think it's a 22 inch neck. But just by cutting in a little bit of, a little bit of detail, adding just a little bit of musculature, you know, once he displays up on the wall, I mean, it's just gonna be a beautiful mount. He's just gonna turn out really good. And he's gonna look bigger and a little bit more mature than he actually is, which I think is what every deer hunter wants when he puts a trophy up on the wall. So anyway, guys, I really appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all hit that subscribe button. We'll see y'all next time.